fastest sailing vessel in the world is here in San Francisco, preparing for next year's attempt at the Transpac record. On flat water, the boat is a uh, well-balanced flying carpet, and now the goal is offshore. We would like to, to fly on the Pacific swell between LA and Hawaii. It's the target uh, for next spring. But for now, they're practicing in the big breeze on San Francisco Bay. This flying carpet is uh, half a boat, half a plane. We have uh, very uh, big wings. Uh, these wings are working in the water as uh, wings of uh, a plane in the air, and the boat is uh, take off with uh, 12 knots, and uh, suddenly the acceleration is really powerful. Our top speed is uh, 56 knots. There is uh, 20 to 25 knots of wind uh, every afternoon. So for us, it's a very good uh, base for uh, practicing. I've been uh, ocean racing uh, most of my life. <laughs> I joined uh, l'Hydropter des CNS in uh, 2005 to um, coach the team because uh, the boat was uh, straight out of uh, computers and uh, it was time to uh, head for uh, offshore sailing. Alain knows it takes more to setting the record than raw boat speed. It takes support from around the world. I wanted to share this flying carpet with American people. Here we are in, uh, near the Silicon Valley, in uh, the temple of US technology, and uh, I'm so happy to share with, uh, with them uh, this uh, French technology, and maybe we can build the future, future together. There's no question about how fast this boat can go when it has the right conditions. Finding those conditions requires patience and preparation. We arrived in uh, Los Angeles to um, make a record attempt from LA to Honolulu, Hawaii. It's uh, four days and 19 hours to, to beat. We are racing uh, Geronimo, a hundred foot trimaran, so we, are, we have a tough uh, race. We are, we are waiting for a good uh, weather forecast. The good weather conditions uh, generally are in uh, May or June. Uh, now it's a little bit late and uh, we will be on, in LA between May and June. I think uh, we, could, we could have uh, good conditions for the, this uh, attempt. As soon as one record is set, there's always the next challenge to drive the dream. The next step uh, after the, the Trans-Pacific record uh, will be to, to cross the Atlantic in uh, two days and a half with a new boat, a new design, and we are looking for uh, an additional sponsor to, to build this uh, new dream. <laughs> 